hey, if you are starting your Zig journey and you're coming from Go, this might trip you up a lot. It tripped me up a lot. I just want to make sure that you're aware so you don't get tripped up by it. So in Go, when we do a defer, let me pull this up and make this a little bigger so you can see it. Okay, so the key thing here is this defer executes at the end of the function it's defined in. So it defers the execution of a function until the surrounding function returns. So this, this defer right here runs right here, right before this executes, which there's nothing to execute there. Okay, really straightforward, fairly simple. In Zig, however, what's really interesting about this, defer is used to execute a statement upon it exiting the current block. Block. Notice that's not function, it's block. So there's a really good example of this here in this test. What we can see is we have a variable called x. It's an i16. We have it assigned to 5. We defer in this block. I, I, we create a new block, and in this block, we defer incrementing it by 2. Then we expect that it's still equal to 5. It is. This executes right here, metaphorically speaking. So right here at the end of this block. Now we expect that it's equal to seven, which it is. So you can see how that fits together. And then similarly, like Go, they execute in reverse order. So if you do have multiple defers, you, they'll execute in reverse order. So in this case, we'll divide x by two first, and then we will add two to it um, at that point. So, you know, if we take five, we divide it by two, we get 2.5. We add two to it, we get 4.5, which is what we would expect right here. Anyways, uh, if you're allocating memory and doing something uh, conditionally and then deferring the freeing of that memory, uh, you could easily run into like a seg fault in Zig. So it's just something to be aware of. Um, if you find yourself seg faulting and around memory allocations, you might be doing something like that where you are, you have a variable here, you allocate some memory here, you assign that variable and then you defer freeing that memory in the same block. So just keep an eye out for that.